Shout out to all my left laners officially tapped in for the left lane mix here on the Punchline Academy. And be yeah. sure to hit the SiriusXM mobile application to check out my interviews and more. Hopefully, Tone will find some time in his busy schedule Absolutely. to update it. Facts. Because the last interview was from March 29th. <sighs> and we are now in May. Wow. <laughs> and I feel betrayed by my friend that the content is not there, Tone. It's a damn shame. <laughs> if you want to do something, got to do it your damn self. Yo, this guy is cool as fuck in the studio. You see him? He got the 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 Ray Ban. Uh, what are those like the the Tom Cruise? Man, uh, man, these are some exclusive shits, man. I bought these shits in Aruba. Oh man, okay. the left lane, man. Shout out to everybody. <laughs> and speaking in the left lane, my brother next to me needs no introduction. You've seen him outside for many years. He has a new project. Yes, sir. Called the Jordan Era with your favorite rappers. Favorite rappers sure. on the project. My brother Saigon's in the building. What's up? What up? Man? What's popping, my boy? Man, I am minding my business as you should. Professionally. Now, That's right. during the pandemic, I was doing these Instagram lives mm -hmm. on the SOB's account. For those who don't know what SOB's it is, is is it is the premier venue for artists when they are starting their journey. Like, yes. so before you get to Madison Square Garden, before, you know, you want to go to SOBs. And I did not know until that day that that was the first time that you had any interaction with uh, the venue. I didn't know that. Oh, me? Yeah. Um, that since, since, since some incidents yeah. I had there, I mm -hmm. had a bunch of incidents at that place, but yeah. that was the first time like that. But, um, yeah, that whole shit with Mob Deep was at SOBs. Yeah. With me and Prodigy. Yeah. Rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? That was at SOBs. And um so I was banned from there for a while. Mm -hmm. I, I was banned from probably every place in New York, but that was one of them. Yeah. That's my old day, you know. Yeah. I'm a changed man. Yeah. I'm a changed man. Yeah. So yeah. I, yeah. I, I think I think it's important to, to kind of talk about it because the project is called the Jordan Era, right? Yes, so sir. it's like what happened in the past compared to now. So what does the hip hop scene look like in your eyes from those days? Um, to to what's happening now? Um, I, the thing, the content, the content changed a lot. Back in the days, it was more people talked about real issues and shit like that. Mm. It wasn't just about my car, my chain, shit like that. There was, there, you know, it is more of a message in the music. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The content was a lot different. You had brothers like Chuck D and KRS One, and you know, it was teaching some shit. Nowadays, it's just like braggadocious. It's just I'm fly and you not. You know what, mm. what I'm saying? That's just pretty much, but. You know, it, it it evolved. Hopefully, we get back to some of that because I think that's very important when it comes to what hip hop really stands for. You know what I'm saying? And Saigon, currently, right now, there's this big war going on in hip hop with the big three. But you yeah. had an opportunity on the Jordan Era project to work with one of the members of the original big, big three. three. Yeah, that's uh, we know the if for those who aren't familiar, it was a uh, Grandmaster Melly Mel, Kumo D. And Grandmaster, Grandmaster Cass, Cass, my brother, yep. was a shout feature out. on your album. Yeah, shout out to Cass, man. That's my big bro. Like he's the he's the father. Speaking of which, what it was, Cass is the father of everybody who's a lyrical MC. Yeah, like when when he when it come time to he was the first. The, he was definitely yeah. the first. Like the first. And, and I got I got that from like Kane and all of these guys. Mm -hmm. Was like man, we was trying to be like Grandmaster Cass. So I'm like a great. I'm like a grandbaby. You know what I'm saying uh, of Cass. Cause I was trying to be like Big Daddy Kane, and so, so when I'm when I'm speaking, I'm like, oh man. Mm -hmm. So to have him bless the project, man, it was it was it was an honor. So I gotta tell you something. I work with Grandmaster Kaz every day, right? And yes, he's sir. he's such a cool guy. Like we were talking off mic, you were saying he's just the coolest dude. He's all down for whatever. He's so yes, humble. Sir. So uh, he didn't mention that he was working with you, and then I mentioned it to him casually in a text message. I said, Yo, Kaz, you on Saigon's new project? So casual. He's like, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. goes, that's the homie though. Yeah. I said, I said, yo, the song is really hot. He was like, bro, it's me. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? He, he'll let you know. I still yeah. got it. Like, yeah, he still, he still could rap his ass off, man. And you know, I, I'm honored to work with these guys. This was a a passion project. This is a project I always wanted to make growing up. Like, if I ever became a rapper, these mm -hmm. and you never seen all these guys on one project. Mm -hmm. Like Cool G Rap, Big Daddy Kane, Grandmaster Cass, Grand Pooba. Pete Rock, like Craig G, like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, Rockness Monster, like, because I kept a, try to keep it in between the Jordan era, like mm -hmm. from 84 to 98. So it's kind of like a compilation and just my, you know, an ode to hip hop, you know what I mean? And just off that alone, I think everybody should stream that album Fact right now. Life. Immediately. Go get that. Right now, the Punchline Academy, the infamous Amadeus, Tone Vieira, Saigon is here. Let's get into a song 
off this Jordan era project mm -hmm. out now, mm -hmm. Shade 45. Yes, that was new heat for my brother, Saigon, official left lane music. You know yes. what lane you have yes. to drive in That's right. when you listen to the Punchline Academy. This show uh -huh. is literally for motherfuckers who drive in the left fucking lane. That's right. <laughs> we don't permit right lane driving when you listen to the Punchline Academy. We don't permit <laughs> middle lane driving. We don't permit none of that shit. It's high speed action. I have a winner in hip hop. My brother Saigon is here now. Yes, sir. Yes, hip hop sir. has gotten very interesting yeah. over the last month or so. Oh, Probably man. a little longer than that because there's been a bunch of like different shots from different artists and just oh, from man. a competitive standpoint, how does this as a true lyricist mm. make you feel that people are actually paying attention to uh, bars i mean i love it man mm. i love it i look but you know that's 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 the mc is yeah. what, this is what it's about being an mc is being able to be creative and put words together that people could appreciate mm. man, not just about no melodies and about so i love to see what's going on right mm. now in the, in the game because that's old you know that keeps it exciting you know what i'm saying yeah it keeps it exciting yeah so i love to see these guys young guys See, see who's whose pen is the sharpest. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's it's funny because we there is this conversation about the quote unquote big three, right? So you know you have you have the, the quote unquote big three. One of them hasn't really dropped the rap album yet, right? Then mm -hmm. the other one is hasn't really been dropping rhymes at all. And then you got Cole, who is the most active, who gracefully bowed out early on because he yeah. didn't want to get to this personal yeah, attack that yeah. we see going on on social media but speaking of top rappers here in the punch on academy we have a top five segment okay. so my question for you is top five brooklyn rappers Bro all time top five brooklyn rappers real quick jay-z okay big daddy kane so big big um poof this is where it gets kind of mm. kind of funky right here um jesus christ damn top five ah shit um Damn, Sean Price, probably. Sean Price, Sean Price, Sean P, and um, can I can I put a group? Can you? Yeah. Mop, Mop, man, top five Brooklyn rappers yeah. all time yeah. on the Punchline Academy tone. How do you feel about that list? I feel strong about it, man. Who I, I miss? Who, who 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 you think I missed? Did I miss anybody? You I said mean, Kane, right? I mean, yeah, I here's Kane. the thing: yeah. it's your list. Yeah, yeah you're not yeah. right. You're not wrong. I mean, yeah. shit. I, I'm, I, I'm I love just trying to list. think because now I'm like, man, who? Your list is very diverse. You could you could easily squeeze A Z in there. You could mm -hmm. squeeze. There's a lot of people you could. Uh, no, it's five. Five is a, you know, it's not you enough. Say for Fab. Brooklyn. I think Fab, Fab, oh, yeah. Fab C, has the catalog. C, Fab, at least. I forgot. See, Fab. Yeah, Fab has the catalog. That's always going to happen. You're yeah, always going to miss somebody. Man. You're like, damn, I can't believe I yeah. missed the homie. I'm highly impressed how Fabulous has kept himself relevant this whole time. Oh, man. That pen, that pen don't, yeah. that pen don't, don't run, he don't run out. You know what I'm saying? That pen keep going, man. Fab is one of them greats, man. Great one. Now, I want to talk to you about this, Saigon. I, right before we went on the mic, we were talking about this app that you're working on, yes. Hip Hop My Hip Way. Hip Hop My Way app, yeah. man. Make sure y'all download the app. I put SoundCloud and Tinder in a blender and, <laughs> and, made, a, <laughs> and made a cool hip hop app for, you know, for, uh, for the people out there like myself. Like That's why it's called Hip Hop My Way because I want artists to know you could be unique, man. Uniqueness is always going to stand out. Yeah. You don't got to try to sound like this guy and that guy because then you're going to get caught up in mm. the copycat shit. Like, be you, man. Do it your way because it works. So mm. you download the app, you upload like 30 seconds. Your profile will be like 30 seconds of your hottest shit and motherfuckers swipe left or right and see if they fuck with you or not. You get a rating mm. so you can see if people... If people want to hear more of your music, they can swipe up and then, you know, go down that rabbit hole and follow follow all your social That's media, fine, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And the first thing I noticed about the app is you, not only can you join as an artist, but you can also just join as a fan. Yeah, as a fan, yeah. yeah I like that. It's very innovative. Um, yeah. I'm definitely going to play around with the app later and post it on my Instagram so everybody can check that out. Thank I you, want thank everybody you, to thank download you, it. I yes, feel sir. very comfortable giving you my personal information. Nah, nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I feel like you're following um, a good path because um, a lot of artists have gotten into the technology space. Yeah. You know, I, I remember a chameleon he comes to mind. Yeah, that's, that's who kind of got me in it. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? That's my boy, man. Man, he was on my my second album, and back he been on he been in it for a while. You know what I'm saying? He was like, "Yo, I'm telling you, shit is moving the text, huh?" He was like, "Don't fuck around with bullshit with rap if you want." You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? And yeah, he been he been he does great. He does great in technology, so, man. So a question aside from from the tech space, uh, it kind of ties in. Is there 
a, a future endeavor that will involve AI possibly? Absolutely. You? you have to. You have to. We just got to fit. Because the next phase, I'm doing a hip hop trivia. You know what I'm saying? To where people can go on there and, like, you know, just see where your hip-hop knowledge is at. So you can go to 80s hip-hop, 90s, and just play, like, uh, da -da -da, shit like that. But, yeah, you got to incorporate AI and everything mm -hmm. and nowadays. I got to just figure out how to, so it makes sense because AI is fucking taking over the world. <laughs> yeah, so make <laughs> sure you support that new Saigon hip -hop. mobile application yes. out now for MCs and creators. Hip-hop my way. Hip-hop my way. Go get that. Like yourselves, the Punchline Academy, the infamous Amadeus. Let's play a song and then you know what time it is. Uh -oh. The Punchline Academy uh -oh. Freestyle. Yes, live sir. and direct on Shade 45. Yes, another Wednesday in hip-hop, the infamous Amadeus, the Punchline Academy. The official show for Left Laner's Tone. Keep the round of applause going. As you see, we have migrated to a new studio. You know why? Because we're doing things our fucking way. Still the same energy. This show is the show for the true lyrics of mm. hip hop. Mm. If right. you got auto tune in your neck, stay home. <laughs> he said auto tune in your neck. <laughs> stay home. <laughs> Motherfuckers is born with auto tune in their neck, man. If you perform and you rap over your vocals, stay, stay home. home. This right. is not for you. That's right. Quick fun fact I don't let anybody punch in when I record. Never. I am such an extremist myself. I have never punched in, and I take punching in. Keep the fucking round of applause going. Tone us the punchline fucking academy. <laughs> I take punching in so critical myself that if I fuck up on the ad libs when I'm talking at the end of the song, I delete the whole fucking record. Shout out to Miss Get Adam. She's here. That's she can hilarious. attest to this. This is. I'm true. like that too. I'm, I'm the same way, bro. I go right. I go to the top. Yeah. Fuck up the last line and be like, let's get it. Shout out to Snipe to Life who's here. He's going to be on next. Yes, sir. This guy don't even fucking write rhymes. Yes, sir. Yes, he yes, walked sir. around the house for three hours and said, if I'm ready. And then he fucked up on one rhyme. He did the whole shit through, fucked up on one line, and went back and did the whole record the same way. Didn't even write it down. What is your excuse? There was a girl rapping with a fucking baby. It's the Punchline Academy, and my guy Saigon is here. Yes, sir. And he didn't come to play no games. Never he has die. a clip locked and loaded, radios at maximum, motherfucking volume. Uh, Miss Gadab, you got the beat. Can you drop that, please? Being we in that Jordan never shit, we gonna get this shit going. If this shit is crazy right here, my guy. Yes. Yo, check this out. Look, look. Let's take it back, look. I said, hoes, I fuck those, foes, I buck those. If it's green and it grows, it gets rolled and smoked and El Productos. Need bitches to suck toes. If not, you could deduct those. So I got exactly how many flows? Who in the fuck knows? We roll it to shows and truckloads. All my niggas who ain't on stage is up close, filling the first three front rows. Lights, camera, side of men of the night scramblers. Keep a slut with a Jennifer butt titties like Pamela. Yes. Team full of wise guys, the pluralized pies. We divide five in the power site for the price of sky rise. Flex treacherous, told niggas to Never step to this essence, the essence to rest for you, exorcist, granting death wishes, a specialist, even the best could try to hold me. I spit petroleum, hot as Mexican guacamole, and we be in the club solely, and niggas rockin' rollies, me, Big F, and 29 other parolees. They kill R. Kelly, nigga, son should be dead too. Was out here fucking bitches younger than Egg Fool. If I pull it, bullets to hit your lung and your head too. When it's rap, he a grizzly, when it's action, it's tattoo. He ain't a rat, nigga, this says who. He the reason every lick that we hit is true with the feds. No Rappers flying private while they bitches on jet blue Then be crying when they up in the stool with guess who And she ain't here to sing no hooks Her only job is the blow job And you the one buying the bitch to go yard They put the Simulac child in the background But I ain't scared of you motherfuckers Like Bernie back around The world dick riding cat now But since the other word for put Let me hit that meow Your mom should've stayed using the broom And you'll be true to those fruit of the looms Now you a fruity goon You lucky they caught Puffy or you a Tubi groom that nigga would have been playing with your booty soon The blood say buzz be bugging like a looney tune Tales of a fourth grade nothing is like I'm Judy Bloom. They done got the Haitian out of hibernation This time around I'm anticipating some confrontation I was on baby daddy duty And now that that's on Tubi let's get back to this movie <laughs> no, we, the Punchline you know, motherfucking Academy Just Shade fucking 45. around Just fucking around Sirius XM Shout the saga in the building just fucking New around. project out now The Jordan Era Jordan Era Talk about it real yeah. quick Yes man Coogee Rap Big Daddy Kane Classic. Yeah, you name it um, Grand Poolbar Oh man This album is amazing If you're a fan of hip hop 
even young, older, whatever. Like, like I, I think I think the older fans needed something to groove to as yeah, well. Yeah. Because if you're 35 and up, a lot of them ain't rocking with this. Like you said, get that mm -hmm. auto tune out your fucking throat. Like that, they, they, this is something they can rock with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, officially, man. The Punch On Academy, Sirius XM, Shade 45, the infamous Amadeus. Let's play some heat, and we'll be back. Yes, sir.